Hey guys, this is Sakota the Gamer here, and uh, I'm going to give you my first deck, uh, my first Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. Um, I'm doing this on a phone, so don't mind me. Um, uh, so for the first card I'm going to introduce is my uh, the Speedroid deck. So I've got, I run three Speedroid Red Eye dice. Basically, they're the most essential tuner. Without this card, you can't really do anything. Um, <clears throat> do anything really that great with this deck. Basically, when you normal or special summon the card. Um, you can basically target one speed roid monster f uh, you control and change its level between one and six, and then you can synchro summon with it. So I could uh, speed roid, roid red eye dice. Let's say I have a take Tom Borg, which is level three, turn that to a level five, and then basically just summon a, um, a high speed roid uh, Kendama. All right, so next card uh, is speed roid. Teratop, I run three of them. Uh, when I control no monsters uh, on my side of the field, I can special summon Speedroid Teratop. And the best combo with this card is with Take Tom Borg and Red Eye Dice. So if I have a Teratop, Red Eye uh, Red Eye Dice, and a Take Tom Borg in my hand, special summon Teratop, special summon Take Tom Borg because I have a Wind Type monster on my field, and then normal summon um, Red Eye Dice, change one of the cards to a level five, and then. I usually synchro into Trishul, the Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Um, also, this card, um, I can search. I can add search and add one speed roid monster from my deck to my hand. Um, and I can only use that once per turn. Uh, next card is speed roid Take Tom Borg. I've pretty much um, summed up Take Tom Borg twice. Uh, but basically, what it does is uh, if I control one type monster, I can special summon this card from my hand. Uh, I can tribute this card to special summon another speed roid tuner monster from my deck. Uh, so I can use that. You just take Tom Borg to bring out Red Eyed Dice or even um, a Tri Eyed Dice. All right. So the next card is um, is uh, Speedroid Double Yo Yo. I run three of those, and what Double Yo Yo basically does is um, when I sorry guys, when this card is normal summoned, I can target one level three or lower Speedroid monster in the graveyard and special summon it. So have double yo-yo out, and then bring out a red-eyed dice. I use red-eyed dice again. Change the level. I'll change the level six, and then bring out um, uh, black rose moonlight dragon. So there's another synchro summon uh, option that you have. It's very easy, very effective. Um, next card, I have two copies of Speedroid Ohaja Kid. Basically, what I can do with this is when this card is normal summoned, I can target one tutor monster in either player's graveyard. And then special summon it to this, my side of the field. If I do, immediately after the effect resolves, I can synchro summon one wind type monster from my extra deck. Using only those monsters. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I also run two copies of Speedroid Triad Dice. Basically what it does is during, the turn, uh, during my opponent's turn, I can banish this card from my graveyard when it's in the graveyard, and then negate the next attack this turn from a monster my opponent controls. It's a quick effect, so it's pretty fast. Um, I also run one... It's also a tuner. It's a level three. Uh, I also run one Speedroid Menko. Basically, if my opponent... Uh, or an opponent's monster declares an attack while this card is in my hand, I can special summon it. Or sorry, a direct attack. Um, so I have nothing on the field. My opponent uses a direct attack on me. I special summon Menko and switch all my opponent's monsters to defense mode. I can put it in defense. It's probably the best thing to do. Um, but that's, uh, that's not a bad card. I also run two copies of Express Roid. Uh, what they do is when this card is summoned, I can target two Roid monsters in my graveyard, except Spe Express Roid, add one, add, uh, those targets to my hand. So I can bring out Express Roid, and then bring out any of the other Roid monsters that I have in the deck. There's only one card in this deck that's not a Roid monster, and that's, uh, Card Card D. Uh, basically I can, I can normal summon it. Cannot be special summoned during my main phase one. If this card was normal summoned that the, the turn I normal summoned it, I can tribute it and draw two cards. Then it becomes the end of my it becomes my end phase, um, and I can't special summon during that turn. So that's not bad. Uh, so those are the monsters. Next card. The uh, next I'm going to move on to spells. Uh, I run three copies of Speed Recovery. Uh, basically, I can target a Speedroid in my deck and special summon it back to the field. So let's say I have, you know, any non-tuner, I can use Speed Recovery to bring it bring that back tuner, Synchro Summon. Um, and basically, the tur any turn after 
I activate speed recovery while it's in my graveyard. I can r remove it from play, or banish, as it's called now, and um, and uh, add a monster from my graveyard to my hand, which is really good. So speed recovery is pretty beast. It's uh, it's basically the monster born of speed rights. Uh, so I also run two copies of Shock Surprise. Basically, I can banish up to two Speedroid monsters from my graveyard, then target that many cards on the field, destroy them. So banish two Speedroids, destroy two cards on my opponent's side of the field. Not too bad of a card. Uh, I run three Mystical Space Typhoons. Those are pretty self-explanatory. I can target one Spell or Trap card on the field and destroy it. Uh, I run one Dark Hole, which blows up any monster, well, which destroys every monster on the field, and I run one Foolish Burial. Um to send him one monster from my deck to the graveyard. Okay, next is um, is my traps. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have two dice roll battle. Basically what dice roll battle does, sorry guys, is um, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, I can target one speedroid monster from my graveyard, uh, one speedroid tuner monster, sorry. Sorry, and one tuner monster um, from my hand, and if I do, special summon the target... Um, special summon from my extra deck, one synchro monster, um, uh, to the total of original levels of the two monsters. So, again, again, synchro summoning if I have no synchros on the field and I have a tuner in my hand. Uh, so that's pretty, that's pretty explanatory. Next is supercharge. I've got three copies of that. And what supercharge does is basically when a speed, uh, when any roid monster with roid in the name is destroyed, I can tar, I can, uh, drop two cards. Uh, which isn't bad because it's it's good draw power, really good draw power. Uh, my next uh, two cards is two Call the Haunteds to bring back my monsters. Uh, two Call the Haunted, they're pretty um, pretty pretty decent nowadays. It's not too bad. And then I have one Compulsory Evacuation Device, which sends a monster back to my hand. One Dark Bribe, which negates the activation of a Spar Trap card, and then my opponent gets a draw card. And one Trap Hole, which um, is pretty explanatory itself. Anything uh, with a uh, thousand or more attack, uh, you can basically destroy it. Okay, so that's the end of trap support. Uh, so now we're gonna move on to synchros, or uh, sorry, not just synchros, but my extra deck. I have one Xyz monster in there, but that's okay. So I run two copies of high speed Roid Kendama. Um, it's basically a piercer, not just that, but um, I can banish one machine-type monster in my graveyard and inflict 500 damage to my opponent. So I can banish as many as I want, basically, I think, and I can inflict a lot of damage to my opponent that turn. Attack, boom, there's a good combo right there. Uh, while it's in the graveyard and I control no monsters on my field, I can special summon it. So it's a good special summoner from the graveyard, I, and I could do that turn after turn after turn if I really want to. Uh, I also run one copy of Goyo Predator, um, basically, he's a Goyo Guardian, but, uh, to be honest, he does half the damage that he would have done when that monster is destroyed. So, he attacks, the monster is destroyed, my opponent only takes half the damage they would have, and I get control of the monster. Um, next card is, um, Formula Synchron. Now, I really like Formula Synchron because it's a, uh, it's a Synchro Tuner. Basically... Uh, when it's Synchro Summoned, I can draw one card, so again, draw power, and then during my opponent's fa uh, main phase, I can immediately, after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon using the card, uh, this card I, that I control. Um, then I own one dra Dragon Archfiend, so um, after damage calculation, if this card attacks a defense position monster uh, that my opponent controls, destroy all defense position monsters. Um, that they controlled during my end phase, destroy all other monsters that I control that did not attack that turn. Uh, okay. Excuse me, guys. Uh, red, one Red Dragon Nova. I'm not going to explain very much uh, for Red Dragon Nova because uh, basically this card gains 500 attack for each tuner monster in my graveyard. So it's not bad. It's You can get it up to an easy 5,000, maybe not even, maybe just less than that with this deck because it revolves around a lot of synchro summoning and tuners, right? Um... So when my opponent, um, so so for tuners in the graveyard, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effects. So that's that's a bonus. And then my opponent's monsters cannot. Uh, my opponent's monster declares an attack. I can target the attacking monster, banish this card, and if I do negate the attack during the end next end phase, I can special summon it back. So it's basically like a Stardust and a Elemental Hero Shining all in one. 
All right. Next is Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, once per turn during the main phase, I can destroy all other uh, face-up attack position monsters on the field, um, which is really, really, really good because 3,000 attack or 2,000 defender. And it's basically like a Red Dragon Archfiend on steroids. It's true. It's true. Um, next is uh, Red Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. So basically, um, you need one tuner and one or more non-tuner Dark Dragon type Synchro Monsters. Um, during either player's turn, I can target one card. My opponent controls, negate its effects until the end, uh, end of the turn. Uh, and when it inflicts battle damage to my opponent, I can target one tuner monster in the graveyard and special summon it. So basically, I have him out. I could bring out Red Eyed Dice. Boom. It's uh, Synchro Summon into the next monster I'm going to explain. All right. Next is uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Now this is a cool looking card, and I love its effect because it's got one of the it's got the name of my one of my favorite villains out of DC Comics, Bane. Okay, Bane's a boss, and so is this card. Um, so you contribute one monster, then target Red Dragon, one Dragon, uh, one Dragon Archfiend monster in uh, in in my graveyard, and then special summon it. That's a boss. I have to say that that's a boss. Um, but that's, that's pretty explanatory. Uh, if you guys want to read the full effect, just read it off the screen. Uh, next card would be Stardust Dragon, uh, which isn't bad. It's, um, same thing as Red, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, um, sorry, not Red Dragon Archfiend, Red Nova Dragon. Um, but I think, yeah, Stardust came out with that first. So next card will be Stardust Spark Dragon. I only run one copy of that. <clears throat> Um, and once per turn, during either player's turn, I can target a face-up card I control, and once during this turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So that's really good. Uh, next would be the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. That's not a bad card either, so basically when I special summon this, when I synchro summon Black Rose Moonlight Dragon, or when my opponent uh, special summons a level 5 or higher monster, I can send a monster to my opponent's hand. That's really good, um, and I can only use the effect once per turn. And the, the next one, I run one copy of Trishula, uh, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, but it's actually limited to one copy anyway. So um, basically, when it's special summoned, when it's synchro summoned, I can choose one card from my opponent's hand randomly, and then one from the graveyard and field, and then banish all three. That's a wicked effect. No wonder it's banned. Um, it's on the banned list. It's on the forbidden limited list. Uh, but we'll go to the next card. I have Old Entity Hastor. <laughs> Um, a pretty pretty good card. It's not too hard to find. I had two at one time, but I traded the other one off. Um, if this card is sent to the monster zone, from the monster zone to the graveyard, I can um, target one face-up monster my opponent controls equipped to that monster. Um, that monster cannot use its eff uh, cannot attack. Also, the effects are negated. If this card leaves the field while equipped to the opponent's monster by effect, take control of the monster. Uh, that this card is equipped to you. So basically what I can do is um, for a quick, um, for a quick, quick explanation, um, summon it, destroy it, uh, somehow destroy it, uh, bring it back for an opponent's monster, MST it, there you go, I get my opponent's monster. It's not a bad combo. But um, yeah, so the last card is Castell, the uh, Sky Blaster Musketeer, which is um, actually pretty... Uh, pretty good uh he's he, you only need two level four monsters i i don't have a lot of them but in this deck but that's okay because i can change the level and then and then exceed someone into him uh i can attach one exceed material and then target one face up monster on the field change it to face down defense and then i can detach two if i want to and then target one other monster one other face up monster uh one of the face up card on the field shuffle it into the deck I can only use the effect once per turn. So that's not bad. That's my um that's my speed raid deck, guys. Um hope you have a great day. And uh see you next time with another deck profile. Bye.